It's not like, you know, here's the word, here's the meaning, what? Hi, my name is Vishal Langtasa. We know that we got our English from the British people, but we Indians are very smart. So we made a few changes in the language so that we could call it our own. So today we are getting our friends from BuzzFeed UK to guess some of the Indian slang. What do you know about Indian slang? Do you know anything at all? I don't know any Indian slang. I'm of Indian origin, but I would say I don't think I know much about slang. Yeah, I, d I don't really know anything about Indian slang. So this should be interesting. So let's start. Here is the first slang. Cheater cock. Cheater cock. Cheater cock. Cheater cock. It sounds dirty. Like a guy that's a cheater, because you're a dick. Like, you know, it's a cheater dick. And maybe it's like a really intense game of badminton. A cock is a chicken. I don't know. Bad chicken, a naughty chicken. A cheater cock just means somebody who, who cheats. So let's say you guys are playing a board game and then somebody cheats. Oh, shady. Okay. <laughs> I would just call that person shady. <laughs> Why has it got the word cock at the end? No idea. It's a slang. <laughs> I mean, it, it gives it a lot of emphasis. It makes it very, a very, a very interesting word. Next, chumming. That's cute, chumming. Chums are your friends. Chumming, like you're vibing with the friends. You're hanging out with your friend. You're sitting down on the couch. You're, you're watching an episode of your favorite TV show and you just, you know, you're chumming. <laughs> No, oh my god, the way you're laughing makes me think it definitely isn't that. How embarrassing. It sounds so sexual, but I'm gonna say it's the act of making friends. I feel like this is like when someone's sick and they like, they're vomiting and you're chumming everywhere. The answer is when somebody is menstruating. Oh, why? <laughs> Menstru- <laughs> Oh. It's such a weird way to say that. Oh, I'm just chumming today. If somebody's chumming, you also say, oh, she's got the chums. Oh my God. Like that. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. lovely. <laughs> lovely. Next slang is non-veg joke. It's a dirty joke. I just think it's always about sex. What was wrong with me? A joke that has absolutely nothing to do with a carrot. Like a joke that's not PC. Maybe it is a joke about someone's genitals. A non veg joke is basically a sexual joke. Ah, yes! Ah, it has everything to do with the carrot. Non so what's the non veg? It involves all sorts of meats, so it's called a non veg joke. Oh, yes! Oh, I love that. Next slang is funda. Is it like when you have a party in like a rainstorm? You're gonna dance out in the rain or in the monsoon and you're like, let's have a fun day. I would like to have that word become the meaning of this. It sounds like a, a thing you would call someone, like you're a fun day. Is it like a foop, a foopa? It's a fun day out, fun day. Okay, the meaning of funda is fundamentals or basics. How would you use it in a sentence? Uh, the funda of making a great omelet is finding the right pen. Oh. Next, mugging. Mug someone, it's like when you like steal something from them. Oh, you're mugging me off, it's like you're taking me for a dickhead. Something to do with tea, like a mug of tea. <laughs> Are you sure? Mugging is stealing? I don't know, maybe like dip, you're dipping something in, in a cup of tea and you're like mugging it. Because we both love tea in the UK and India. Mugging means to memorize for a test. What? How? Sort of like mug it in. You drink the knowledge in without really processing it. That's how I got through school, by mugging. <laughs> I didn't understand anything. I just remembered it somehow. Oh yeah, that's what I did all the time. Like you just like memorize the phrase and you're like, I've got this, but I have no idea what it means. The next slang is bunking. So we have it too in, in the UK. Okay, I wonder if it's the same in India. Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. Bunking off, like missing something. Listening to music in your car late at night. That's such a random guess, but if it's right, then hey, wow, look at me. Bunking is when you skip like a day of school or a day of work. Actually, you are right. To skip class or to skip work. Ah, see, okay. I thought that was an old thing though, like, oh, you're bunking off. Like, yeah, I'm bunking off as well. Next slang is parcel it. To be done with it. I'm done, parcel it. Imagine someone is being really, really emotional, like they're crying loads, like they're just being a lot. 
Put that thought away, send it away. Parcel it. The meaning of parcel it is to order it takeaway. So if you're at a restaurant, would you say, oh, can you parcel parcel this for me? Yes, and then they just pack the food for you. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll try it and, yeah. and they'll be like, wow, you, you're really hot on your Indian slang. Okay, next, head bath. Those things that Americans call swirlies, where when you're in school and someone flushes your head down the toilet. All right, like, is that I'm washing my hair? They can't be I'm washing my hair. Like, you know what? Tonight I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to give myself a head bath. I think it's a cleanse. Head bath is like a baptism. <laughs> it cleanses your sins away, so I think it's a cleanse. Is it just like slang for getting a, like a head massage? Like it's so relaxing that it's like bathing your head. The meaning of head bath is washing hair. Oh, damn it. Well, that's what I said, but I thought it was too simple. <laughs> Taking things literally is probably the way to go. So all my invisible assistants here have calculated the scores and we have a winner. And the winner of this challenge is... me. All of you guys did really badly. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take the award by myself. But did I lose though? Because I think I changed things around. So you can never really lose if you're an innovator. I did not do well. I'm a bit gutted I lost, but you know what? I learned a lot and I will be using these next time I go to India. Most Indian slang seems to kind of make sense. Like it's not like, you know, here's the word, here's the meaning, what? Hey, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and tell us in the comment section down below what are some other slang terms that we could make people guess, okay? And yeah, subscribe to BuzzFeed India for more videos.